Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Hey y'all. All right, so guys, I'm a little uncomfortable right now only because this is a video that I never ever wanted to do. Like, I mean, it's not a big deal. Like, it's really not. I'm just being real extra. But I just don't like talking about fragrances that people love. You know what I mean? But I've been requested to do this video so much on my channel it's not even funny so after about the 20th time that i've been asked to do this video i'm like okay you know what let me just do this video in the most politically correct way i know how because like i said i don't want a fragrance bash that's not what i do and i don't want to talk about anyone's favorite fragrance anyone's wedding fragrance anyone's birthday fragrance you know what i mean but i just thought about it long and hard like really long and hard and I just said, you know what? Just because a fragrance doesn't work for me, it doesn't mean it's a bad fragrance. Just because a fragrance doesn't resonate with my body chemistry, my skin, or I may just not like the scent of the fragrance, it doesn't mean it's a bad fragrance. So here we are doing this video, fragrances that I would never buy. Now, I know Brandy and them said, never say never. And that's like the thing or like the saying, never say never. I, however, I'm saying never. I would never buy these fragrances and I would never wear these fragrances if they were given to me, okay? It doesn't matter. 10 years from now, five years, like it doesn't matter. I can honestly say, safely say, that these fragrances I would never buy or ever wear. Now, there's a couple on the list that maybe I would buy in maybe like 30 years from now, then yeah, 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 yeah. But within that 30 years, like, no, I wouldn't buy these fragrances. And no, I wouldn't wear these fragrances. I wouldn't touch them with a 10-foot pole. So if any of these fragrances happen to be your favorite fragrance or your signature fragrance or your, you know, your special fragrance, listen, we're still friends. We're still cool. It's just that it doesn't work for me and it may work for you. So if you want to see these fragrances, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. Cue the dramatic music. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, it's really not that deep. I'm just very extra now the first fragrance on the list is by Zerjoff because I feel like do y'all work for Zerjoff people that follow me on this channel do y'all work for Zerjoff are you part of Zerjoff do y'all have shares in Zerjoff because y'all are always and when I say always always I feel like a lot of you guys feel like I don't have a collection until I own a Zerjoff and let me tell you those bottles are gorgeous okay now the one that I know I would never ever purchase is Herba Pura so y'all can stop suggesting that one to me because I would never buy that fragrance why because I have Dahab and I also have Kirk and I also have Cassiopeia now do I need four fragrances with that fruity sweet syrupy cloyingly sweet uh dna no so i would not get herba pure because it smells to me like kirke eh? like cassiopeia and like dahab which they all kind of have the same type of vibe so i don't need a fourth fragrance added to that list with that vibe however the bottle is gorgeous. I mean, the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. I wish the juice was a little bit different, but it's not. So Herba Pura, yeah, no, I won't be buying that one. So y'all can stop telling me about that one, okay? Next on the list, Tom Ford's Soleil Brulant. Another one, the bottle. It's the bottle for me, guys. The bottle is freaking gorgeous it would look so pretty there in my tom ford section y'all can't tell me it wouldn't look so dope back there in my tom ford little group on that shelf button however it smells masculine on me i don't care it smells masculine on me i'm not saying it smells masculine but on me it smells masculine and yeah i'm not i'm not feeling that i don't like it i don't want bae smelling that on me he wouldn't want to smell that on me yeah no it's just, yeah, that one is definitely a no for me. However, like I said, the bottle is gorgeous. The next fragrance that I would never, ever, ever, ever purchase is another Tom Ford fragrance. And it's Ibin Fume, Fume, 
I, I don't even know how to pronounce it. So why would I buy it? Okay. Now that fragrance, when I say it is the most woody, the most earthy fragrance I have ever smelled. Like seriously, I feel like it's giving Smokey the Bear. It's giving forest fire. It's yeah, no. And I know so many people that have that fragrance and love it like so many women. But yeah, no, on me, it's giving, we're burning up in the woods. It's just too woody, too earthy. It smells like Woodstock, like I need to be wearing bell-bottom pants with like a bandana wrapped around my head and doing my hair like this and singing Cher. Not for me, but it's a very nice bottle. The next fragrance, Chanel number no. five. Where do I start? I mean, where do I start? Okay, that fragrance was made in 1921 and it smells like it should have stayed in 1921. Yeah, no. Like, I feel like maybe when I'm 90 years old, you know what I mean? And Bay and I are going to like some type of an event <laughs> with other 90 year olds, then I feel like that would be a vibe. But right now at this age, no, Chanel number five, we here. No, I wouldn't wear that one, no. The bottle is another beautiful bottle. It's very classy, very um, sophisticated looking. But the scent, it's, I'm not, that level of class and sophistication, I'm not there yet. There's still a city girl living inside of me <laughs> that will not allow me to wear the number five. Okay, the city girl inside of me, every time I pick up the number five, she slaps my hand. Like, girl, put that down. That's not you. Girl, I feel like, yeah, no, that scent is just too mature. And I know people younger than me in their 20s and early 30s that are wearing Chanel number no. five. And I'm just like, wow, yeah, I'm just not there yet. Yeah, I'm not there yet. And I don't think I'll ever be there, but you know, Maybe like I said, in 30 years, I'll probably embrace the number five. But right now, it's a no for me. Keeping in the theme of Chanel, now we have Chanel Coco. And I ain't in love with the Coco. I really hate the Coco. I'm in love with the, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, Coco, no. You know what that fragrance smells like to me? It smells like I have a cabinet in my house with a bunch of trinkets in there that needs to be dusted off. Like that's what that fragrance gives me. It gives me lace doilies all over my house. Like I feel like, no, like I would not wear that fragrance. And I'm gonna say this, I have the body cream, right? Because there was a time in my life when I was like, you know what? I'm getting older, I'm more mature. Let me embrace a Chanel Coco. I'm not gonna do number five. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't doing that just yet. But let me see if I could do the Coco. Yeah, no. I bought the body cream, wore it around Bay, and he was like, what is that smell? Like, what are you wearing? And I didn't have any fragrance on. The body cream is potent. It is very strong. He was like, it doesn't even smell like you. And that was the first and last time I wore the body cream. And now she's up there in the Chanel display, just chilling. Like I've never worn that body cream again because my man feels like it doesn't smell like me. And if he's with me, he needs to be smelling me. Okay, not anybody else, me. So yeah, I'm not in love with the cocoa. Mm -mm. The next fragrance I would never ever purchase is Valentino's Yellow Dream. Now. That fragrance, I went back and forth with that fragrance at least five times. I saw it on um, Macy's. They were having a 15% off sale. And I believe I saw it again when Sephora was having their sale. And I tried, guys. I really, really tried. Because one, yellow is one of my favorite colors, like ever. I love yellow. Two, I'm a Valentino fragrance lover, I would say. I love Donna Born in Roma. She's that girl. Um... Coral Fantasy, I love that one too. You know, she's cute for the summer. 
um i have boche viva the intense version love that one too so i'm like you know what like it would be so cool if i had donna born in roma curl fantasy and the yellow dream like just the whole collection because they're so cute i love the bottles i tried okay and sometimes you just have to learn in life that if something ain't working it just ain't working whether it's a relationship a friendship a job if it's not working it's just not working like i'm not going to try to make it work i was tired of forcing that fragrance tired of forcing it to work when at the end of the day it smelled like a masculine lemon cleaner on me it smelled like bug spray on me so you know what i said to myself you know what <laughs> yellow dream <laughs> this just ain't working out like we just got to end this right now because we it's, it's not working. You go your way and I'm going to go mine. So yeah, the yellow dream, she's just not for me. Guerlain's Shalimar. Yeah, you know what? I just haven't reached that level of sophistication. Next, Gucci Flora. Now, I was trying to like this fragrance. It's not a bad fragrance. It just didn't do anything for me. And that's very rare. Like, I can see the beauty in a lot of fragrances that people will say, oh, it's basic or it smells generic. I never really, you know, see that. Like, I always see, okay, I see the potential with this fragrance. I can wear this to the supermarket. I can wear this to the post office. I can wear this running errands. It's something that I can really spray heavily and just smell sweet, fruity, and, you know, just not doing too much. It, it is what it is. With the flora... Now that to me smells on me. I'm not saying on anybody else or the fragrance smells like that, but on me, on my body chemistry, it did nothing. I got the most basic fruity floral floral fragrance like ever. It did nothing for me. And when I tell you, I wanted to love that one as well because the bottle is a work of art. I feel like they put more into the bottle than they did the fragrance. Like, how is that? Like, you put more effort into making the bottle than creating the fragrance. And if the fragrance was bomb, I definitely would have had that because, guys, the bottle is gorgeous. Like, it's so beautiful. It's so classy and vintage looking. But the fragrance did nothing for me. And like I said, I'm not the type of person that says a fragrance is basic because I can find a place in my life for a basic fragrance. You know what I mean? But that one was just like, I can't. Like, no. Like, I'm not even wearing that to my laundry room. Uh-uh. Gucci flora mm. no so the last fragrance i would never ever 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 buy or wear is by jean paul gaultier and it's la belle and can i say this i have no fragrance by jpg i have no fragrance by that brand and i feel like there's a reason for it like it's just, it's just something about those fragrances that just don't gel with me and it's okay i don't have to have every fragrance in the world i don't have to have every fragrance that everyone speaks about that's a love for them i don't need that fragrance because what's going to happen is i would be decluttering the fragrance at some point so because i don't do declutters or anything like that i have fragrances in my collection that i absolutely love okay and that one i wanted first of all i'm not gonna say i wanted to like it because i don't like the bottle like let's start there i don't like the bottle um but i would have gotten past the bottle if the fragrance was beautiful to me but you know what it smelled like to me it smelled like i was trying too hard like it smelled like i want to be noticed like i want you to smell me like i want to be the center of attention i want to bring the boys to the yard and that's not what i'm going for like the thing is here's the thing i want you to smell me I want to be the center of attention. I don't want to bring no boys to the yard. There's already one boy in my yard, okay? <laughs> but the thing is, I want it to be in a more, like, unexpected kind of way. You know what I mean? Like, I'm putting on this fragrance, and you just happen to give me the attention. You just happen to smell me. You just happen to, you know what I mean? And that's how I like it. I don't want to smell like I'm trying too hard. And that's what I get from the La Belle fragrance. I heard the Intense was really good. I've never smelled that because like I said, that's just how I am. Like if I smell a brand of fragrance and none of them work for me, then like after the six one, I'm just not even gonna smell that one because I know, okay, these fragrances don't work for me. The fragrances by this brand just don't work for me. The DNA of these fragrances, the style of these fragrances don't work for me and it's okay. But anyway, I say all that to say, 
I hope we're still friends because these fragrances that I mentioned today, I would never ever buy and never ever wear and I'm okay with that because your girl is still out here smelling good and snatching souls with my fragrances, okay? So let's talk about it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about my list. Um, do you own any of these fragrances on this list? Let's talk about it and I hope we're still friends, girl. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.